Hey y'all, so I'm here with a eating video. I'm looking a hot mess. I don't care. Just got off of work not too long ago. So, my mouth's watering as we speak because I have some chicken livers and I've not tried them here at this place. It's like a little restaurant called Mimi's down here in Rockwood. So, and I've not ever had cabbage casserole, so I got cabbage casserole with mashed potatoes. So, it's about to be good, y'all. So, and I got some unsweet tea. So, let's see what this looks like. So, it is cold here. Like, it has been so cold here today. Oh, yeah. Y'all ready for this? Hold on. Okay, I try to do a like thumbnail. Hold on. Okay. So I need ketchup. And I probably need to put my jacket off, but it has been so cold. Like, I'm telling y'all, like, I have froze all week at work, and then it's cold today. Um, here we are. I'm gonna get my stuff situated. I cannot wait to try these, y'all. So I have some ketchup here. Um, and I've known that these, like this place has had these here before and I've never tried them because I keep forgetting. Um, oh my gosh, these look so tasty. I love chicken livers. Um, Speaking of chicken livers, I heard that livers are good for your blood. And so, I need a napkin. So, my blood type is an O negative. I have like a rare blood. And so, I normally go to like the like blood bank things and like do the blood but the last time that i done it oh my gosh y'all thank heavens there was no silverware in here but i had one in my car but the last time that i went to the food or not the food bank the blood bank thing um my blood level was kind of low like my iron level or whatever Ever, so they would not let me like do the blood thing um but yeah i heard that livers was good for your blood so and i like liver so mm, they're good Have y'all ever done research on like O negative blood? There's a whole like thing behind it. It's interesting. Mmm. These taters are good. So, Mimi's is like a country like little diner here in town really good so here's the livers Here comes somebody walking. These are actually really good. Mmm. I love livers so much. I'm like, they're hard to find. They used to have them at Crackle Barrel. 
they stopped selling at Cracker Barrel. And then they do have them at um, Shoney's from time to time, and they're really good. But on Thursdays, they have them here. This is like. in the spot and they give you quite a bit like there's a bunch in here um <clears throat> i have never had cabbage casserole it's right here um i heard that it was good like on tiktok and stuff but i've never tried it i do like cabbage though Those livers are on point. You can see the train going by. So this train right here is the one that whenever I was married to the kid's daddy, up and down non-stop <clears throat> and I literally got used to it like it never like it bothered me at first then I got used to it mm. these are so good And of course you have to dip them in ketchup because you know ketchup's the bomb with chicken livers i'm working tomorrow overtime i kind of regret saying that i would but oh well These are really good. My oldest boy is addicted to um, Zaxby's and Bojangles. <clears throat> but here lately, he wants Bojangles all the time. So that's what he chose tonight. I'm like, I don't... Bojangles chicken is hot to me. I'm like, I don't... I don't care much for it. I'm like, mm -mm. I did eat Bojangles with them last night though, but it's hot. <clears throat> their mashed potatoes are good however i'm gonna be honest they taste like bob evans mashed potatoes you know bob evans when you get in the little containers that you warm up in the microwave they're good but they taste like bob evans Mm -mm. the livers are really good i feel like they're a little bit not dry but kind of dry i feel like they could be a little bit like i think it's where they cooked them and they sat there for a while but they're really good i didn't go in and eat so obviously they're gonna like make them and 
I went to like the drive through to pick them up, so they're still good. I'm like <clears throat> so ready for the weekend. I need a break. Can't wait to sleep in. And then, hold on. Sunday's my birthday. I will be the big 37, y'all. Um, so, I know this probably sounds weird to you guys. But, ever since my mom died... I think it's like a coat mechanism. So like on my birthday, <clears throat> I'm all, like, I feel close to my mom, but I feel sad too at the same time because she's not with me. But I feel like today was this, like, okay, on my birthday, that day was a very special day for my parents and for my mom. Like my mother carried me for nine months. She gave birth to me. And we were connected together. So, like, on my birthday, I'm happy. And I'm sad, but I'm really happy because I know that, like, she was so excited to see me on my, like, when she gave birth to me. That, like, I kind of feel close to her. But I'm sad at the same time. Does that make sense? And it's like, um, kind of like this type of feeling. Like, happy, sad, happy, sad. But... I don't really do a whole lot for my birthday because I just don't. Um, it's another year and I'm thankful for it. But I'm always reminded that, like, I, like I've seen pictures of mom holding me when I was a little baby. And, like, I know how, like, happy she was. And I know how, like, when I had my kids, how my heart was just so happy. And so on my birthday, I just think of those things. I'm like, my mom's here, you know. Let's try this. I've never had cabbage casserole. So it looks like this. Taste cheese, onion, the cabbage, maybe like some heavy whipping cream. Really good. It kind of reminds me of um, squash casserole. Like it almost tastes the same thing. Because I've made a squash casserole before. It's really good. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I wasn't even going to make a video. And I'm like, I'm going to get some videos out there. Because I know y'all enjoy them. And I enjoy, like, talking to y'all and being with y'all, but. I've just been at this time of my life where I'm just, like, living, learning, working, and getting through life. So... I don't know. That casserole's good. I was reading y'all's comments on Gracie's um, Africa vlog thing. She's She like posted it together for me last night and then I uploaded it. 
It was very beautiful, like very beautiful. Look at all this cheese. <clears throat> little, little Miss Gracie will be graduating next Marie year now, but yeah, she's gonna be a senior next year. And mama's like, I'm happy for her, but I know that I'm gonna be in tears. Happy, sad tears. It's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. There's a lot of changes going on in my household. My kids are getting older. I'm very proud of them. Extremely proud of them. But at the same time, I'm like, where's my kids? Like, where's my babies? They don't need me as much as they once did. I'm going to be taking this to work tomorrow, these leftovers, because there's so many of them. But y'all, man, so good. Mmm. But, you know what? God is good. He's been good to us. I'm thankful. I'm blessed. My kids are blessed. Everything's good. Everything's going okay. And I have so much to be thankful for. So much to think, like to be thankful for. And this weekend, I get to sleep. And Sunday's my birthday. So, I can do whatever I want to do, right? I'm going to get up and go to church Sunday. Gosh, this was so good. Mmm. Okay. <clears throat> so the rest of this I'll be going to work with me tomorrow, friends. Hope everyone's doing good. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.